Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. In my previous video, I showed how average summer nighttime temperatures in the United States have been rapidly increasing for the past 60 years. This correlates very closely with the increase in corn yields. Corn rapidly moves moisture from the soil to the air, increasing the humidity and dew point. And this has been causing nighttime summer temperatures in the eastern half of the United States to increase. Some people suggested that this increase in summer nighttime temperatures is due to an urban heat island effect. There's undoubtedly some truth to that assertion. To eliminate most of the urban heat island effect, let's take a look at one rural station east of Lincoln, Nebraska. It's a small town just a few blocks long, so the urban heat island effect is probably fairly minimal. And it is unlikely to have changed much over time. This graph shows all 3,128 July nighttime temperatures recorded at Weeping Water between 1907 and the end of records in 2010. You can see that the July trend in Weeping Water nighttime temperatures is upwards. But if we look closer at the data, we can see something very interesting. All of the hottest nights at Weeping Water occurred a long time ago. In recent years, the hottest nights have disappeared, but so have the coolest nights. The reason that the trend is upwards isn't because the nights are getting hotter, but rather because there's fewer cool nights than they used to have. 100 years ago, the dew points at Weeping Water would frequently drop down into the 40s on July evenings. But now the dew point almost never gets below 50 degrees at night, which means the temperature isn't going to get below 50 degrees either. The humidity isn't making the hottest nights hotter. In fact, they're much cooler now. What the humidity is doing is making the coolest nights less frequent. As I mentioned in the previous video, on the night of July 25, 1936, Lincoln, Nebraska never got below 91 degrees Fahrenheit. It was too hot to sleep in the dormitory, so the students had a giant slumber party on the grass. Three years later, Toto got caught in a huge tornado in Kansas. Toto's been pulling back the curtain on the scam for a long time. You can visit him, Kyrie Caesar, Toki Nupla on the web at realclimatescience.com.